Did you ever have to rip a piece of drywall and you're just working by yourself? In this particular case, I have to rip a 10 and 3 quarter inch strip off the long dimension of this piece of drywall and I don't have any help to help maybe hold one end as I'm cutting it. So I'm going to show you a really cool tip. What I'm doing here is I'm actually using my, my finger as a guide. I'm holding the tape so I have my 10 and 3 quarter inch mark right along that top edge. And I'm using my utility knife and I'm just holding it against the tape measure along the bottom. And as I pull the knife and tape measure across the panel, I'm trying to hold it at a 90 degree angle. This dimension here is going to be at a 90 degree angle so that my cut will be straighter. Now I'm just going to spin the panel around so you'll see my technique for actually cutting the opposite side. So the back side has been scored with my utility knife. Now I'm just going to give it a little tap at about the right height and it'll just crack right along that scored edge. But when working alone, this is a problem that you can sometimes have. If I, if I take my utility knife and cut right to the very end, as I approach the other end, that's going to want to fall off and tear the face paper of this drywall. So what I'm going to do with my utility knife, I'm just going to start my cut about two inches in. And this is just, all I'm doing is scoring the paper as I glide along. You can see I've gotten a long ways from that end, but it has not slipped off. So the same thing at my finish edge, I've stopped about two inches short. Now I'm getting myself re-centered and all I have to do is quickly snap the panel away from the cut. And I've got a nice clean cut and I've done it all by myself.